I was trying to make that call, but then I looked over at my dog and he was sniffing his butt. Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you are all doing well. Please forgive my hair. Please forgive the echo and the lack of background. This is the first video, if you didn't see my last one, that I'm filming officially in my brand new art studio. This will not be as sterile and ugly to look at going forward. So just bear with me, please. I have this really cool stand-up desk now, which is like electronic, which means I can actually stand up and film if I want to. Like, how high does this go? <laughs> it's still going! <laughs> this, is just, this is just way too cool. I love it so much. This desk, by the way, is by Fully. They're a really cool desk company that I just figured that people were recommending to me. I needed a stand-up desk, so this is the one that I bought. It's awesome. I don't know the name of it. I've forgotten, but if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to it down below. But on to the purpose of this video. So thanks to Ace of Clay, I'm actually a plaid ambassador. And basically plaid, if you've never heard of them before, they own Apple Barrel paint, Folk Art paint, all those paints that I've used for years. And essentially, they just sent me a giant box of art supplies. And when I say a giant box of art supplies, I counted on the list they sent me. There's 57 art supplies in this box. It is 15 pounds. This thing is huge. I open it up and like, so because I am still setting up my new studio, everything's kind of a little bit, again, sorry for the lighting and the maybe echoes that are going on right now. I needed a video that was kind of simple enough to film, but also I could show you a bunch of art supplies. So a lot of you voted for this on my community tab. So I figured I would just make a video unboxing all of this stuff because half of it I can genuinely say I've never seen before. So I'm really, really excited to show you. And of course this box was very kindly gifted to me by Plaid. So thank you so much to Plaid for sending me this. Okay. So we got, a, we got a lot of option here. I'm not really sure where to start. I'm seeing some full cart paint, apple barrel. Oh, look at this. Look at this pink. Is that not beautiful? So we've got candy pink. This is just a matte quick drying paint. I used this on one of my very first canvas paintings, apple barrel paint in matte, because it just dries nicely. It's craft paint, but I've personally used it a bunch, so I really, really like it. We also have a few more here. I have orange, trop orange tropical and caterpillar to shiny summery shades i think we have a purple and a, these are beautiful colors are these new because i'm pretty sure i've never seen these ones before we've got parakeet pale daffodil and lilac mist Ooh, pretty these remind me of like a tropical island or something they just look really nice there is so much in here like i literally i could pour it out but that's probably not a good idea oh yeah plaid own mod podge too this is awesome because i actually run out of mod podge so i have a giant 16 ounce Mod Podge water-based glue sealer and finish. You can use this actually as a sealer for your paintings, so long as the paintings aren't somewhere like humid, in a bathroom, that kind of thing. So Mod Podge is used for like a million different crafts. It's very, very good. We have a Mod Podge Ultra spray-on all-in-one all in one glue and sealer. I've never seen this before either, and I'm not sure what you would use it for. If you have used it, feel free to let me know in the comments down below because I'm guessing it's kind of like paper glue, I think. Can be applied to almost any surface by spraying, brushing, or pouring. Huh, again, let me know in the comments if you've used this before because I feel like it could come in handy depending on the project. Oh, I have a brush basin. Also, I can clean my brushes properly. That's handy, look at that. So it's got some like ridges at the bottom so you can clean your brushes out and one of these zigzaggy things which also I guess will help you clean out your brushes. They also have like a bunch of like holes here on the side so you can like store your paint brushes. Very nice. I want to let you know really, really quickly about the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare, because they have this incredible offer that I wanted to tell you about. Basically the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get 30% off an annual premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Even if you've already had a free trial of Skillshare from me or somebody else, you can still take advantage of this offer to get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. This is literally an amazing deal. I think you would absolutely love it. Skillshare basically has thousands and thousands of online classes in literally everything you can think about, including things like interior design so you can bet your boots. I, as someone that's taken many classes on Skillshare in my time, hours and hours worth in fact, I'm gonna be taking some interior design classes to kind of figure out what I want to do for this space, organizing that kind of thing. But they also have classes in art, everything art related, art mediums, 
illustration design, anatomy. Even Tom Bancroft, who is an ex-Disney animator, has classes on Skillshare. So thank you once again so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to the video. Okay, inside the box, what else What else do we have? We have, we have a lot actually. Mod Podge Professional Decoupage. De de decoupage. Decoupage? Decoupage. Smooth air bubbles and press into corners. So it's like a little baby roller for the duke duke do do decoupage. Decoupage. Essential tools for the decoupage crafter. Please tell me I'm saying that right. If I'm not, please correct me. Decoupage. You can do some cool patterns and things. I feel like I've seen this online before, but this is definitely not something that I have ever tried before. But if you want to see me try, let me know. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have some paintbrushes, some plaid synthetic paintbrushes, a 10 piece set. Very cool. Then we have, is this glittery Mod Podge? Are you kidding me? That exists. Mega glitter, water based top coast, co top coat. I can't talk today. Mod Podge Mega Glitter Water Based Top Coat Finish. Kind of curious to see what it looks like, actually. I'm very, very curious. It's. Oh, get it all over my fingers. That's pretty. Okay, so I wiped the box with the lid. Not the smartest idea, but look. So it's all glittery, so I'm guessing if you want a glittery top coat for something, that's what that looks like. And it's, it's literally all over my fingers. It looks quite pretty. Okay, next up in our big box of supplies. There's just so much in here. Like, so much. So I'm seeing a little, ah, oh, it's a little unicorn. We also have, and I feel like that could break if I'm not gentle enough. Yeah, we have a bicycle. How cute is that? I love painting on wood, so this will be a really fun craft project. Because it's in layers, you can give it some really nice cool effects with your craft paint. Some Apple Barrel Value palette packs. I need some palettes. I never bought some in Michaels the other day, so. Very, very handy. Thank you, Plaid. Pouring medium. Turn any acrylic paint into pourable paint fluids for fluid art projects. Very cool. I didn't know Apple Barrel did this. This is going to come in really handy for those of you that want to give pouring, like, artwork a try. I did do pouring before, but I feel like it can get very expensive very quickly because pouring medium is not very cheap. An Apple Barrel is much more affordable, so if you do want to give it a go for the first time, this is probably a good option for you. Someone's driving too fast. Okay, next up we have some value synthetic paint chip brushes. Nice big brush set there. Then we have treasure gold. Interesting. I've never seen these before. These are by Folk Art. They're water-based, non-toxic. Brilliant metallic luster. So it's basically a paint, I'm guessing, like a top coat. So we have platinum gold and pink zircon. Zircon? Zircon. 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 I've probably said that wrong too. So it's basically like a metallic, but like a top coat, but you can paint things. I'm not sure. Let me know if you've used these because I'm very curious to know if you have a lot of paint. I need some sort of decent paint setup for all of these paints. So we've got some more flat paint brushes. Very cool. Then we have a wooden leaf. A feather, it's a feather, not a leaf. A feather layered shape. Okay, next up, we've got some pre-mixed pouring paint to create fluid art projects. So you can actually buy the pre-mixed pouring medium. So this is basically gonna be paint that's already very, very thinned out. This is in the shade Aqua. It's also, a lot of their stuff is all non-toxic as well, which I like a lot. But yeah, this is by Folk Art, if anyone's interested. Okay, I think the methodical way to do this would probably be to take out like products. So we've got some glitter, got some more glitter, some more glitter, we've got some color shift. Ooh, okay. Oh wait, we've got another. We have another pouring paint. This is bright blue. Okay, we have, oh, oh okay, this is my favorite. Well, I don't know if it's this particular color, but this is my all time favorite chalk paint by Folk Art. It's Home Decor Chalk Paint in Seaside Vanilla. No, Villa. Seaside Villa, not vanilla, Villa, Villa. It's like a pretty mint, beautiful shade. Ooh, don't come out. I'm trying to like show you gracious, like the nice shot of this. I was trying to avoid that, but it didn't work. Well, basically it's a pretty kind of pale mintish blue color. Very nice. You can kind of see the remnants on my hand. 
<gasps> Opening boxes is tiring work. <laughs> okay, so we have Glitterific by Folk Art in Danger of Combustion. That's not the shade name. Unicorn, Blue Stars, and Blue Moon. It's okay, we didn't have a leakage. These are just very pretty. I'm not sure how they work on like the paint. They probably work best over the top of another kind of paint versus on their own because usually things like that work best mixed in with other things as kind of like a top coat. So very nice though, I like them a lot. Next up, we've got more paint. There's like so many different types of paint. They all look the same, but they're not. Got another chalk paint. We got an, another chalk paint. I think that's it for chalk paint. So we have white Adirondack. White Adirondack. Adirondack. I'm not sure if you know how to pronounce that. Do let me know. Adirondack. Then we have Castle Home Decor Chalk Paint. Very nice. Ooh, we have a brush plus brush cleaner. I swear plaid has literally everything. They have literally everything you can think of, which is very cool. Okay, so, oh, wait, wax. Wh wax? Okay, so we've got Folk Art Home Decor White Wax. So you can put this onto wood. I'm guessing it's kind of, it can help condition it. Again, not sure. I'm not a wood expert, but basically it says water-based, non-toxic, indoor use only. Brush a thin layer of wax onto project, working wax into surface, let dry overnight. Bath with a, clean, a clean soft cloth, and that's all it says. So I'm guessing it's just, it's just a wax for some wood. If you need to use something like that, comes in a little bottle, very handy. Color shift. I think those are all the color shift ones, right? Nope, that's one. Okay, so next we have a bunch of color shift paint. I have personally never actually used this before, but the colors look beautiful. Let's put this box out of the way. So these color shift acrylic paints, we have pink flash, green flash, black flash, aqua flash, and I'm guessing this is purple flash. Purple flash, yes, that's the one. So these are all color shift. Oh yeah, that is really beautiful. So in some lights it looks blue, in some lights it looks bluey green. That's quite unique actually. I like that. Next up, we have Folk Art. More Folk Art. Folk Art Apple Barrel. But there's another color shift, this would be Yellow Flash. And then Folk Art, Folk Art, Apple Barrel. Folk Art, Folk Art, Apple Barrel. Uh, Folk Art. Apple barrel, folk art, apple barrel, apple barrel, apple barrel, also apple barrel. <laughs> okay, the box is empty. We have some natural detail brushes. There are 10 in this set. We have 10 of these folk art paints in some very, very beautiful, again, quite summery shades. These are all multi-surface, which basically means you can use them on pretty much anything that you want. They all have a satin finish. So we have Ocean View, Sky Mist, Baby pink and light lavender. Cool bisque and parchment, as well as vintage white. Lastly, we have pale yellow, fire coral, and fresh foliage. So those are all the folk art paints. We already took out these wonderful, beautiful apple barrel shades, but I have more. We have cameo pink, red apple, and harvest orange. These ones I'm certain they have got already. But I feel like the ones from before, some of them are definitely newer shades I've not seen before. And it's been a while since I've been painting with apple barrel paint, I suppose. So maybe it's just been a while, but still, I've not seen some of those shades before. By the way, these are actually sold in Walmart for 50 cents. So jump on them. If you do wanna try acrylic paints and you don't wanna spend too much money, these are awesome. Then we have yellow, Key West, and Snow White. And lastly, we have black and Jet Black. So this is all, I believe, 57 items, which I was very generously sent by Plaid. Thank you so much, Plaid. I finally have space to keep a lot of this stuff now. So it's really, really gonna be so helpful to me. So that's everything. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. I know it was a little bit Kind of nothing too fancy, but I do plan on making obviously better content once my studio is set up. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoy it. Again, I will link everything, at least I'll try to link everything in the description down below if you want to check it out. But yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Plaid for sending me these products. I can't wait to show you all how they work going forward in the future, in future videos. For now, thank you again. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.